Hey guys! Hi everyone and welcome to today's adventure at the Jurassic World Exhibition. Here at the Trafford Centre. Can't believe we've got something this cool so close to where we live. This is I know. mental. But look at the size of this temporary building, it's mental. Yeah, cannot wait to get inside. To be honest, avoided spoilers, no idea what it's going to be like inside. But super excited to see some dinosaurs, yeah? Yeah. Alright, let's head inside. So all together, the experience came to £71.50 for the three of us. The exhibition lasts roughly around about an hour, we believe. So we're going to uh, head in. But well, there isn't a time limit for how long it takes. So it looks like we've got lockers as soon as you come in, which is good, just in case you've got any food or drink with you, because they're not allowed to take them in with you. Is it me or does it feel like you're about to go on to Velocicoaster right now? Do you know what? You just said, I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's like fairly convinced there's going to be a zip line, and I'm like 99.9% .9 sure there's not. <laughs> Direct your attention to the front of the boat for an important informational video. This is Jurassic World. Hello everyone, I'm Allison, Jurassic World's lead ranger, and I have the privilege of overseeing all of our park's dinosaurs. It's going to be an exciting day. One I'm sure you'll never forget. Welcome to Jurassic World. Just finished Let's have a look. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> How cool is that? Oh, whoa! Whoa! <laughs> right, so we have just come in to Jurassic World. That was such a cool entrance. That's we good, came on it? a ferry. Yeah, came, on a, came on a ferry <laughs> and we turned up and we got the, uh, the arches right oh here. Oh my gosh, and a dinosaur. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Looking at the first dinosaur. It's going to be good. It's going to be so much fun. Now, one thing I would always recommend to you in any sort of event like this where they're kind of ushering groups through is wait until right at the end. Because in that way, you get everyone gone and you can spend your time doing it yourself. At your own pace. Around the base of the big guy, there's some interactive binoculars that you get to search around Jurassic World and see what other dinosaurs are there. Ah, uh, the good old Cretaceous period. You then get to have a photo with one of the iconic Jurassic Park vehicles and then you get to see another animatronic. Look at this! What were you thinking so far? The cool out of the dinosaurs. The, 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 We've the, already the, like become part of the group behind we're taking that long. <laughs> no, yeah. So they have said it takes roughly about an hour to go through, which means we'll probably take about three hours altogether. <laughs> no, it does. What's that? Why is he frozen? He's not frozen. Not the baby you want, the grown-up, he's just standing still. Is he just still? Yeah. Good point you've got there. Maybe he's sleeping. Why is his eyes open? So, as Ollie has already seen, it looks like one of the dinosaurs is um, frozen. It's a shame. Big dinosaurs though. Much bigger than I expected. I wish we could see that one maybe because the baby's so animated. She looks like she's trying to lie down. Yeah. Next up is the Hammond Creation Lab. This is a cool little area where people get to interact with baby dinosaurs, whether that be them in their eggs or just recently hatched. Daddy, that's inside the egg. That All was right, inside. so we're now into the Hammond Laboratory. This is, you see this here? Yeah. Scan the egg. Yeah. I'm going to scan the egg. Okay. Oh, whoa, you can see inside the eggs. This is pretty cool. Oh, whoa, they're really, look at them. Sleeping. Sleeping dinos. So I think Ollie's about to go and handle himself some dino poop, he was saying. Go on. So this is herbivore poop. What? What is? I mean, it's actually kind of cool. 
Oh, <laughs> it's squishy. I know it's squishy. It's actually kind of cool. All right, going to try another one then. Let's see. Let, let me let's have a quick feel. Let me have a feel. Oh yes, yeah, so it kind of poop. feels a bit squishy. Okay, so this is a carnivore poop. Carnivore. Yeah. Okay, carnivore. Oh, that is really squishy. And then you got the omnivore. Oh. Oh, I can't miss the DNA. Do you want to go meet the dino? Hi, say hello. Do you want to say hello, bud? Oh. Right, okay, so we're now leaving the laboratory. And we're heading to the next part of the exhibition. Whoa, it's a T Rex skull. What have you found, bud? Some of our archaeologists galore, all digging up their uh, fossils. That's cool. I think you found the coolest one, mate, I'm not going to lie. Oh, Whoa. is that what I think it is? What? That raptor claw. It is. That's crazy. Here, our scientists, rangers, and handlers work with velociraptors, gaining an insight into how they think, move, and hunt. Let's learn more about these amazing creatures. And now, I'd like for you to meet Blue. Next, we get to do the gyrosphere. Okay, so we're now into the next room. <gasps> Tyrannosaurus Rex. Oh. <laughs> what do you say? He's like, no. Right, I'm going to try and get us through the gate. I don't know all my
as all great attractions do. It exits in the gift shop. Are you okay? Yeah, that actually kind of scared me a bit. <laughs> it did it. We didn't see Carnotaurus. So. You okay? <laughs> <laughs> If you want a job, take mine. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> literally had one job. We had one job. This is what happens when you lie on your CV, folks. Don't do it. Especially with dogs. Genius. Okay, I'll least tell everyone. What was it like? It actually felt like you're in the movie that bit. Did it? Yeah. Were we in it? <laughs> oh, you need, you need a breath here. You need a minute. Halfway through that, to be fair, say I don't think I like this mummy. And there's a couple of kids cried, so it is quite intense if you have the little ones. That one, man. <laughs> that one. I need a blue shoulder buddy. There's a blue I shoulder buddy. Need a blue shoulder. Yeah, that is pretty cool. I will say that is to the level of Universal Studios back in Orlando. Yeah. And that end scene. Very similar to this what you're going to get at Beijing. Very attraction. That's crazy, that. That's it's really good. It's here until November, I want to say. We'll put it on the screen when it's yeah. here. So. That's but, mint. Oh, it's good. We'll have a good picture one. around the shop, show you what it's here, and then we'll go outside for our final thoughts on the attraction. So they've got stuff here, like you've got like posters there, they've got Manchester on it, you've got the teddy bears, the shoulder buddies, both blue and T Rex. Is that chocolate? Jurassic World chocolate. And you've got t-shirts with the exhibition on it. Oh, that's cool. Like Jurassic World uh, gates. And a little dinosaur egg. So these are little pillows. How much are these, Ange? Eight, Eighteen pounds for the pillows. Give you an idea on pricing. Kids t-shirts, twenty-two pounds. You got like little um, magnets. They're cool. Isn't that a Velociraptor? Like how they actually are, because they're furry. Yeah, like fur well, it's not a real one, it's Teddy. Oh, come on. <laughs> they got feathers, haven't they? Yeah. More t-shirts, you can get a Jurassic World cap. Right. 22 quid. Seems like to be the default price, to be honest. Do you want a pin? Pin? You got a pin? Let's have a look. T-Rex zone. T-Rex zone. How much is the pin, bud? Uh, Eight, Eight pounds. pounds. Eight pounds, that's okay, I suppose. I like that jumper. Your classic T-Rex t-shirts are for adults are 28 quid, but I will point out though, that literally you still have the Gildan logo in them. I'll be honest, the quality of these, you're probably better off to go to Primark and get one for like five pounds. I'm not gonna lie on that. It's, they're not like, you know, like, like what you get in Universal and stuff. It literally has the same logo as like what you can get from print stores. I like the print stores. So these are the prints that we saw when you first walk in. I did like these. These would be cool as a set on like in a bedroom, wouldn't it? These are uh, the ones you saw in the front? Yeah. I like that one. Yeah, that's cool. Again, look, look Fruit of the Loom. Hang Gilden. on a minute, hang they're on from, a minute. They're from print on demand stores. Yeah, a, the hoodies are AWD as well, which are print on demand, so. How are we yes. meant to get back? How? You know, those hoodies are like. And 15 pounds. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what's stronger than a T Rex. Put, put printed. An Andominus Rex. Oh. oh yeah. How much are the prints on? Fit five pounds for the prints. That's not bad. That's alright, I'm alright with that. Twelve pounds for a Jurassic Park mug. Where do you go back? Yeah. Right guys, so we're all out of the Jurassic World exhibition. Those animatronics. Yes. What? So what? for a for a, like a makeshift attraction, something that's temporary. Look at the size of the building for one. Yeah, the animatronics are pretty special, aren't they? Yeah, that was a very cool experience. I think it is a little bit expensive what it is. For me, I'd like to see a bit more. I'd like to see a bit longer. Yeah, it, and our we took our time. Like people raced ahead, so they must have got through in like definitely not an hour. No. Because it took us an hour, and we were like really seeing every single section. What would you do if you was if you was to build it, buddy? What would you do differently? So I would probably put some rides in there. For yeah. temporary though, you can't expect rides. No. But I think there's just a few more interactive elements, maybe. I think there were some really good things that they've taken from the parks. The likes of the blue, yeah. like meeting blues, seeing some of the dinosaurs. Also, like I was saying, like rides in there. Yeah. Like maybe a carousel where you can ride like velociraptors and stuff. No, that'd be cool. That would be good. I think the raptor, we could, like if we'd have been able to do a picture with the raptor at the side. Yes. 
with the big raptor. That would have been cool. Like, yeah. you know, like you do the meet and greet with Blue, you maybe yeah, like yeah. go around the side and you at the next room you could actually meet him. You see a train and then you go and meet her. Yeah. Like something like that. Just extra interactive elements. Right. Quick fire. Yes. Worst thing followed by the best thing of the attraction. Worst so. thing was the price of the merch and the fact that one of the big dinosaurs was not working. Yep. I All the best. The same. You're the same. You're the same the same. I'm going to say the worst thing about me is the quality of the merchandise and how quickly the, it was to get through it all. Yeah, and the best thing by far, that final scene with... Yeah, final scene. Yeah, I think yeah with the two dinosaurs that. arguing, that was yeah. meant yeah. Was so I mean, like, I don't think I've seen animatronic that big, that close up, apart from maybe Kong. I don't even think you get that close, do you? No. That was so that was cool. Really, that was, that was really so cool. cool. Yeah. It was expensive. We probably wouldn't do it again, but I'm definitely glad that we came to do it. Yeah, exactly. For a one-off, it's something that we're dead happy that we've done. Yeah. Right, guys. Till next time. We'll see you at the next adventure. Catch you later. Bye.